The one thing that I think a lot of people don't know is it doesn't have to be an either or, it can be a hybrid. Your vector database can be private on your documents and you can still use a chat GPT, a Claude, a Gemini by tokenizing and using an API key and passing that stuff through and backwards and, and return rather. And that sounds like a lot to do, but all of that can happen in milliseconds kind of behind the scenes. Right. And I kind of like that concept because it is I'm not building this huge vector database that maybe in some cases increases my ability to hallucinate. I'm focusing <laughs> it narrowly to just this customer. I am doing it on demand. I am redacting the PII and the sensitive information, and I'm only feeding the governing language into the vector database, dropping it into the LLM prompt, and then using the LLM to be able to answer questions. And so kind of sitting on the sidelines as this stuff evolves, is a dangerous place to be. Like some safe experimentation is pretty important right now, I feel like. Well, that's why I was asking about, you know, how do you self-assess your own BI capabilities? Mm -hmm. How do you start to develop some kind of roadmap and not get left behind? Yeah.